One October years ago, we were vacationing in Kennebunkport, Maine, staying in a charming bed and breakfast. Our host served us her homemade apple pumpkin butter. That's when I discovered the deliciousness and versatility of this seasonal treat. At the end of this video, I will show you my favorite way to use apple pumpkin butter. To make this apple pumpkin butter, you'll need a 15 ounce can of pumpkin, one and a half cups of chopped apples, I'll be using Granny Smith, but you can use any apple, one cup of apple juice, one half cup of brown sugar. For your spices, you'll need three quarters of a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, one half teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one half teaspoon of nutmeg, and I will also be using one half teaspoon of vanilla and one half teaspoon of maple flavoring. You will also need a two quart pan. This recipe cooks for an hour and a half on the stove. You'll need three canning jars, a blender, or an immersion blender. It's a little trick I want to show you. Once you cut your apple and it's on its side, if you just lay your knife right in the flat of the board, you'll take out the core. And now you have a nice clean apple. You'll also need to peel your apples. Start cutting your apples. Cut them on the thin side so that they're, they'll be nice and tender when you finish the recipe. I'm going to assemble our ingredients. I'm going to start with 15 ounces of canned pumpkin. When you buy your pumpkin, make sure that it's plain pumpkin and not the pumpkin pie mix that is so popular in stores these days. A cup and a half of your chopped apples. Apple butter came to us through Europe. It was particularly popular during the Middle Ages. And there is no butter in apple butter. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of cinnamon, your ginger, your nutmeg, and your pumpkin pie spice, brown sugar, half a cup. Mix your brown sugar in with your pumpkin mixture and your spices. Now it's time to add your one cup of apple juice. I'm actually using apple cider. You can use apple juice or apple cider. I like the apple cider myself. Mix it all together. We'll save our vanilla and maple uh, flavoring until after this is cooked for an hour and a half. And now it's time to go onto the stove. One of the nice things about making this apple pumpkin butter is your the aromas in your house will just be delightful. Our apple pumpkin butter has been simmering on the stove for an hour and a half, and then now it's ready to be put into a blender. I've transferred all of my mixture into my blender, and I'm now adding my half a teaspoon of vanilla and a half a teaspoon of maple flavoring. And now it's time to blend it all together. After your mixture is smooth and ready to pour into your jars, you'll get about three 8-ounce jars from this recipe. Then they should be sealed and refrigerated. So as promised, my favorite way to, to use apple pumpkin butter is for breakfast. This is how I was introduced to it in Kennebunkport, Maine. Take my yogurt, I'm using Greek sweetened yogurt. A generous spoonful of apple butter. Mix it together. Sprinkle in granola, however much you want. and top it with blueberries. Whether with yogurt as a delicious breakfast or spread on toast, 
pancakes, waffles, added to a protein shake or even over oatmeal, apple pumpkin butter has become a family favorite.